enforcement. Our I team has been tracking those enforcement numbers and our Sean Gallagher shows us what we have learned with that. Hi, Sean. Yeah, Susan and Steve, every month I file records requests to get raw data on the number of traffic stops Milwaukee police are doing. It really details everything. Who's the driver? What are they accused of? And where is this happening most? It's really an overwhelming amount of information. But when we boil it down, it shows Milwaukee's traffic enforcement numbers are well below where they've been historically. They're running stop signs. They're speeding through lights. I guess they're not doing the 30 that they're supposed to. <laughs> they're definitely not. As residents of Sherman Park, it happens almost every week, every day. Valerie yeah. Taplin and Dennis Walton say they're surrounded by reckless driving. The behavior that has just that's plague in the community is I, I never thought we would be at a place like this. And they largely feel police aren't doing enough to stop it. I don't think that is significant enough to, to address the issue. I would love to see them pull people over more frequently. The I-Team obtained data showing last year Milwaukee police issued its fewest number of citations since 2017. The focus has been on reckless driving, right, those uh, excessive speed. Um, and so maybe a turning violation or maybe an equipment violation isn't necessarily something that an officer is going to make a stop on when there are are more egregious types of violations happening. Last year, Milwaukee police issued warnings in about one in three traffic violations, a decision Milwaukee Police Inspector David Feldmeyer says is up to each individual officer. Yeah, I like to believe that uh, the majority are law-abiding citizens who, all right, I made a mistake, and so we, we give them that opportunity to maybe correct it. When you see somebody driving 40, 50, 60, 70 miles an hour, no, that's not a warning. You know, I think they should take their cars. If you're going 80 miles an hour in a residential area, your car should be taken. It should be impounded. We've been tracking the numbers since October, and as you can see from this chart, the number of citations issued are trending upward, with the exception of February, the shortest month of the year. Speeding citations are by far the highest cited moving violation, with nearly 1,000 tickets issued monthly. And we want you to be able to follow along to know what MPD is and isn't writing traffic tickets for. You can scan the QR code on your screen to see the data we are tracking. I'll, it'll take you to a, our web page where you can see the trends of crashes, citations, warnings, and more reckless driving offenses. We'll update these charts monthly. Reporting for the I-Team, I'm Sean Gallagher. Six months down, many more to go. Sean Gallagher, thank you. As he mentioned, today marks six months since we began Project Drive Safer. So many of the stories we've shared over that time have been ideas sent to us by you, our viewers. If you have a story idea, email us, projectdrivesafer at tmj4.com.